Okay, people. I'm going to be doing a movie review of the movie Jennifer's Body. I know I've been telling you guys about it on Facebook or whatever, you know. But this movie was by far the most dumbest movie I have seen in a very long time. So, you know, the movie, it starts off with a bang. After I saw the first scene, I was like, ooh, this might be a good movie. Yeah, I was so wrong. This girl, and she's in, like, this wacky shack or something like that. And, you know, she's in there. And then the people are trying to get her to eat food. And they're like, eat the food. Eat the food! And then the girl is like, you know, I don't, I don't want to eat the food. And then they're like, eat the food! And then she, wham, she just kicks her right in the face. And after I saw that, I'm like, yeah, let's go! No, the movie goes downhill from there. That, that was the best part. That's the only part that you're going to want to see. Face, there's blood all over her mouth, and I'm like, oh, wow, this is this may be worth an hour and a half, you know. Oh, yeah, the movie starts, or the girl who just kicked the other lady in the face, she starts going and saying uh, how she wasn't always... A bad person or something like that or she wasn't always crazy and then I'm like oh what are they talking about you know then uh, they go like the but the whole movie is basically a flashback you know kick the chick in the face the girl named her name is needy and her friend's name is Jennifer slash Megan Fox now Megan Fox didn't do that well in this movie she just she barely made it all right you know they apparently they've been friends since uh they've been friends since they were little kids. Which is BS. I never had friends since I was a little kid. All of my friends right now are idiots. Literally. High school now, I think they're seniors or something like that. I don't really know. But uh they're in high school or whatever, and then uh Apparently Jennifer wants to go see this band. And the band, first of all, yeah, when I, I see the band, the way that they described the band, I knew the band couldn't have been that good. They got, she said I was on MySpace and I saw this band. Who's on MySpace anymore? We're all on Facebook. They said they got discovered on MySpace or whatever. And then they they go to the freaking, uh, the whatchamacallit, they go to like the bar. Uh, they, they're playing the song. And then Jennifer, she's like getting pos not possessed but dazed by the song she like falls in love which who isn't falling in love nowadays but she falls in love and she's the way that she's looking at him i thought it was pretty funny she like just staring at the band and he's like and they're playing or whatever and then uh while they're in the club a fire happens but the white girl needy sat there and watched the whole freaking fire. She's responsible for a lot of Hollywood. They didn't realize that in the movie. She she's fire like so. Mm, this isn't gonna end well. And then the whole place caught on fire. People were dying, and I'm like, really? And then there's a scene where the band leader, apparently he's a douchebag. They're like talking outside, and oh yeah, I I I don't want to be rude. I don't want to be white blonde would sit there and watch a freaking fire happen like that. But whatever. So freaking, um, they're outside, and then, then there's a, a scene of people in the background, freaking dying. Uh, then you know, then later on that, or because Jen Jen Jennifer she leaves with the band to go somewhere. To, you know, she leaves with the band, and then uh, Needy goes home. And I'm like, yeah, some friend you are. Just let her go with some strangers. He's at home, and then she's on the phone with her boyfriend. God, I'm so worried about Jennifer or whatever. And he's like, oh, you want to come over? Uh, no, not right now. Oh, okay, bye. Click. And, uh, yeah, I was like, yeah, you go, buddy. The part that I'm really going to get into. Because Jennifer freaking, she showed, she, Jen, or Needy's in the house. And then she hears something. So she goes to check and see what it was. And then when she gets downstairs, someone's eating off the floor. They're eating off the floor. And freaking, she looks up and, oh, who would have thought? It's Jennifer. And then Jennifer, she's got blood all over her mouth. Either that or she overdosed on Kool-Aid. I don't know. And, uh, like, she's freaking eating raw meat or something. And Needy's all like, oh, my God, what's wrong? No, screw that. I don't care what friend it is. Leo, Dante, Corey, Danny, her, let it get... But, um, I don't care what idiot it is. You're not about to come in my house and eat raw meat and freaking mess all over the floor. And, and, and I know, don't freaking talk to me. Clean this crap up. And then she's all like, oh my God, are you okay? And then Jennifer's like, ha ha. And then she grabs her and presses her against the wall. Needy's, oh my God, I didn't know this was going to happen. Why didn't I call the cops at least? And then Jennifer whispers in her ear. And this is the part that irritated the crap out of me. First, are you scared? And Needy is so freaking retarded. She answers that question. If someone has blood all over their mind and asks you, are you scared? Don't answer the question. Or it should have been a rhetorical question. Leaves the house and then the next morning, 
there's they're all sad because apparently kids from the bar that went to the school they died nah. and then Jennifer's the only one in class like oh my god this is so boring so is this movie Megan Fox but then one of one of the linebackers apparently he was a friend of one of the people who died in fire the, oh yeah the teacher had a hook for a hand he was passing people's papers out like this like what is hook hand what just, I wouldn't have took that yeah so I'm gonna stop it right here and I'm gonna make part two in a hot second the notes Peace out!